Welcome again to the Shooting USA YouTube channel. We're glad you're here. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing. It really does help with the algorithm. And click the bell icon. That way you'll get notifications every time we post new content. If you're interested in full length current Shooting USA shows, there's a link to our Vimeo channel in this video's description. A few dollars a month gets you unlimited streaming of over 60 full length episodes. Also remember to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. So now, here's what you came to see. Okay guys, I hope you were paying attention because today's pro tip is target presentation. You might have noticed two very distinct presentation techniques and I'll discuss in, in detail the differences and why I use them in competition. The first one, from the low ready basically, when you come out of the holster, you sweep into the bottom of the target. That is consistently the fastest way of shooting a target. The downside of that is when you, when you swap guns and you have different sights, different grip angles, different handguns, I like more or less the bayonet mount. If I'm changing sights, or it's the first time I've shot this gun in a stage, maybe it might, it might be a prop gun, the first time you've picked it up is in the stage of fire, or you've changed an optic, or whatever, that all affects the final presentation of the handgun into the target. So with the bayonet mount, it actually gives you as a shooter more time to see what is going on before you make the final extension into the target zone. Coming in from the bottom of the target is the fastest if I'm shooting steel challenge or a stage of fire where I have extensive practice with that handgun, it is by far the fastest way. If I'm changing into another gun that I haven't handled as much, or it's a different optic, or I'm swapping from strong hand to weak hand, I like to bring the gun into my focal plane a little bit longer, so I'll use the bayonet style. It gives me longer to see the sight in relationship to the target. It buys me a little bit more time to dress it up and make it an accurate shot. I've swapped over to an optically sighted revolver. You notice right away, this sight, even though it's extremely compact and it's low, it's, it's a good inch and a quarter, inch and a half over the center of the bore, where the metallic sight is probably three quarters of an inch. And this is where changing sights and grips affects the final presentation into the target. So say I'm out on the range and I haven't trained with this revolver yet. So what I want to do is basically the bayonet presentation and what that does for the shooter it gives me more time to acquire the center line of the sight and bring it into the target zone and still make a relatively fast first shot so what I'm trying to see here is more of the gun coming into the target zone it gives me more time as a shooter because the sights have changed the height in relationship to the height of my hand into the target it gives me a little bit more time to dress it up and make a good center accurate shot So just be aware, as a competitor, there's two different techniques on how to get into the center of the target. You have to decide on the range which is the fastest for you. Well, you've made it to the end of another Shooting USA video on YouTube, and for that, we thank you. It does help the channel if you subscribe, like, and comment, and that will help us keep the content coming.